All right, we made it to the park flying site. As you can see, here's my park. It's not very much space. It's currently 1.40 in the afternoon. We've got just a little bit of wind coming from over there, which means I'll launch this way. And you guys can see the weather is beautiful. No clouds in the sky. Literally almost no clouds, excluding those in the sky. Wonderful conditions. It used to be, it was super smoky. Like in the past few videos, you saw it was super smoky, but it kind of cleared up. You can actually see the mountains now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up and get ready because Troy is not here and I am about to wait for him. Let's go fly.
chase cam survived. Oh yeah. All right, guys. That was Troy and I's short little. That was Troy and I's short little lunchtime on, flight. <laughs> me too. Me too. A uh, little sneak lunchtime flight in between working. We got to go back and do some stuff mm -hmm. back at the house. Two flat top 200 R's right here. 16 meter Dominator and a 19 meter Dominator. I was legit cruising at 50 miles an hour. I took out my phone and clocked it. That is full speed bar and trim on a 16 meter Dominator. And I was doing 50 miles an hour. That thing freaking rips. So that's insanely quick, especially for a glider that safe and that efficient. So. Cool stuff, you guys can see this launch site, super small, super tight. It is, I don't know, like two o'clock, 2.30 right now. Uh, I hope the chase cam got some good video. I saw it was a little crooked in the air, that's kind of annoying, but there was only so much I could do once we were airborne, so I try and make it as straight as possible on the ground, but. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys wanna learn more about the Dominator Paraglider, the flat top paramotor, how you can learn how to fly a paramotor, go to flyflattop.com. Give us a call, 800-707-2525. I will see you in the next video.